Ramstein. I don't know who's a fan of Ramstein, but I certainly am. And like in in just my my youth, growing up, and just being so influenced from their um, stage performance, their performance art in general, pyrotechnics, and watching documentaries done on them and um, mm. interviews talking about the process of being a band that has live mm. fire and different things happening and for example, the lead singer and how burnt he got because he did not have proper training. He didn't have proper tech or people to help. And so he got the shit burned out of him. He's having stuff on his face that's blowing out. Um, so let's talk about this for a second. So we, there was a, there's a very loud co concert. I think this was in the UK. <laughs> yeah, no, this is crazy. And just, you know, just to tag on to your, to your Rammstein thing, like, that was a band, you know, especially in my teenage years that I got really into. Um, they fell right in line. I mean, I'm wearing a Nine Inch Nail shirt. I mean, they fall right in line with a lot of these bands could play together. Um, yeah. And especially my, I, I really liked like bands like KMFDM and that kind of stuff, which Rammstein actually kind of reminded me that they just kind of felt like a heavier KMFDM, especially because they would say their name a lot in their songs and, you know, KMFDM mm -hmm. does too. Um, but no, they, they are in a crazy intense band and, you know, whenever we see them or watch their stuff, I'm just like, oh my God, the liability that these guys might have. I'll pull some of their stuff on the screen if you want to see. Yeah, just kind of have it, uh, playing as, as, as we're chatting. But anyway, so they do this concert and I guess people from like 11 miles away could hear it because it was so loud. And the amazing thing here is obviously amazing. fire, fire, fire. Um, and it, they finally like disclosed how much fuel is used per show and it is 200 and i think it was 30 gallons yeah, something like that yeah of fuel is used for their show which is um incredible i mean look at that it's it's amazing because they're doing a lot of their you know obviously the old record a lot of the hits which everyone wants to hear i mean look at that audience no they, their shows are always packed i mean like look at this like my man's got like flamethrowers and chain, like it's insane. Like they're just shooting it out of their hands and their guitars. And I'm just like, I, 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 I worry with the liability. This stuff just, you know, I'm a big safety guy. I'm a big safety guy. And I'm just terrified just one day, just a, a bad accident's going to happen or an explosion one day. And it's just going to be tragic, but it does look very cool. But I mean, wow. Like it, it's spectacular how dangerous and how just, you know, over the years, how much bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger the shows go. But um, the fact that they are still rocking it loud, I mean, they got like a thousand members in that band. So <laughs> it's no it's no surprise between the fireworks, explosions and, you know, multiple guitars that it's not um, registering to the next city. Yeah, no, they're they're the best. I probably Look at that. I probably don't know. I don't think any of us completely know all of the uh, lyrics uh, as well as we probably should to be singing along. But um, it was reported specifically that they use roughly 265 gallons of fuel to uh -huh. make their flaming stage show come to life. And then um, they went on to talk about how they're continuously searching for new technologies to take their fiery stage show to new heights. Um, you know, in the prep of a tour, we sit and exchange all the ideas beforehand and we go to test um, and it's been prototyped and built beforehand. I imagine for the liability that they do a lot of tests. <laughs> Look at that. That is insane. And like they're on stage playing like the amount of heat that they have to feel all the time and all the times that they've been burnt and all the times yeah. that they've just been. I mean, you're you're like here. We got this new prototype of this rocket launcher flamethrower thing, and it's like, uh, you know, you want to be like the first guy to test that thing. <laughs> you know what, Jen? Much. Jen made a good point. Fuel is not cheap, so I mean, look, the, that's a very good, good point. point. And, and as far as as far as these artists who will go and um, just dump a bunch of money into their live shows, I think Rammstein is probably one of those bands but i mean but you saw how many people were there uh yeah. they're, they're, they're they're buying tickets they're selling tickets they're not worried about it this isn't like a festival show they're here to see they're here to see them 